Yum yum. Hi Frank here from Pixel Fondue. Today we will talk about the assembly aliases for mesh ops. So let's dive in. Okay, so we will install the archive uh, inside the folder. So you open the zip file, then you just drag and drop into your uh, kits folder for kits folder of uh, model. So app data, roaming, luxology, and that's all. Then you load back uh, model. So I've just restarted from scratch with no config file. And as you can see, uh, now you got some modification. So on the top, uh, near the model tab, you got the mesh up advanced uh, tab. It's uh, just empty at this time, but you just have to right click on the arrow and select mesh up advanced. Then you are ready to go. And that will be awesome, I, I hope. Here is the UI I use uh, for MeshOps uh, development. So when you will took the kit, you will got the MeshOps uh, advanced uh, MeshOps tab. Okay, so you click click over on on it, and you will got all the different uh, viewports and uh, data here uh, in view. So you got the viewport uh, itself. You should make sure that. Uh, you got the uh, enable uh, deformers uh, at first and uh, after that everything will be fine okay so if I disable the enable deformers you will see that when I add um, mesh ops uh, you will not see anything so be careful about this and everything will be fine you need to use the O key to display the viewport uh, properties Okay, so I add a new mesh ops. I will add a cube. So you can filter with text. Uh, now we got the cube, but we didn't see it. It's just, you just see the handles. So it means that there's no enable deformers active on the view, okay? So make sure you got this enable. Okay, so on the side uh, left, you got the properties and you can got the schematic, then you got the channel links over here and uh, the, I the mesh operation over there and the item list and then the groups uh, that's important sometimes for uh, looking at the assembly for that uh, uh, list over here and that's really interesting for viewing all that stuff so um, we will uh, load uh, the preset uh, include in the in the kit so when you Add an operator, you will see this new line, uh, small uh, SMO uh, assembly aliases. When you click on it, uh, you will got the list of the different items uh, presets uh, that I've made. Uh, I first start with this one, but I will add more and more as time goes. So when you load this one, you see that it's an assembly aliases, and on the side you see it's grade uh, alias. Okay. It means that yeah, you, it's things that you can include into your scene, but it's not an, a native uh, uh, mesh ops like the cube. The cube itself didn't got any markers uh, like alias on the side, as you can see. Okay. Okay, so mm, we will take a look more closely about on this uh, mesh mesh ops. So you can change the sides. You can. Now, uh, of course, didn't define mm, less sides than three. Okay, it's normal. That's impossible to use two sides for a, a shape like this. So you can, uh, of course, change any value. Uh, you can define the radius of the outside of this uh, cylinder. Uh, if you take a look at the dim dimension uh, and you define a more simple value like uh, one for the radius, Okay, one meter, uh, you will got two meters uh, long, I mean, for the size, okay? So, uh, you also got uh, information about the height. You can change the height also, same things um, over here. 
so you can define any value um, then you got the uh, all inside so if you put zero of course you have a plain cylinder so no hole in it yeah as far as you define a specific value you add a little all inside so it looks more like a disc uh, than a cylinder or like a tube you can create a tube with this uh, kind of shapes okay so we of course you can animate any of those value so of course uh, we will take a look at uh, how the mesh up is made okay so i will load the file um, and take a look at the schematic so when you double click on this uh, assembly uh, of course when you use the mesh up you cannot see this assembly it's a mesh up uh, but this is the building uh, scene that I, that I open. So you can see that we got the inputs, we got the outputs also. So if I take a look closely on how it's uh, done and created, I'll just erase this scene. Um, it's made by using few steps, okay? You got firstly the cube, then the radial sweep, and uh, one important thing is the deform folder at the top. Okay, so we start by creating a cube, a flat cube, just to define a profile. Then we use the radial sweep on one axis to create a revolve of this shape. Okay, then the deform folder is important at the top because it defines uh, what is the first and what is the second uh, mesh up into the um, into the scene, okay? I mean, and especially into the assembly, aliases. If you didn't use any deform folder, you will got some problem. So I will rename those um, mashups just to explain things uh, more uh, simply. The first cube and the second, uh, the radial sweep, okay? So this is about steps. Uh, there's no numbers, there's no index. Uh, over here that you can control but if you use a deform folder everything is co is okay and you can create your assembly aliases so don't forget it okay so we'll take a look at how the mm, mesh up is built uh, we got those uh, red uh, nodes that are related to this red uh, item and the second one is the yellow one that uh, is fitted by the red item okay with the this merge mesh uh, output okay so we got all the data from the merge mesh output and feed the output of the assembly with this okay so with that in mind uh, we still got the inputs uh, of the assembly over here and we got all the nodes with the subtract and uh, divide uh, stuff and everything every mesh up, mesh up uh, inside the assembly and all the link are preserved and ready to to be used uh, to feed the, the output okay so we will take a look at how to export this assembly aliases uh, as a final mesh up uh, item so we select the assembly uh, itself and uh, we just have to uh, make sure that the visibility of all those items are uh, not present okay the visibility should be hided uh, for the twice uh, because if not we will s get twice the mesh uh, as an output and that's not what we want okay we just want the data on of the merge mesh up not a duplicated uh, mesh of those Okay, so we right click and uh, select uh, collapse to item. Then for the type, we select, of course, mesh, um, mesh operation. And uh, for the sources, we must select the merge mesh output that we've named before uh, in the yellow um, item. Okay, so we click OK. And then everything looks gone, but that's not, this is just a bug. Uh, on the 11.1 uh, uh, that I've seen before but don't worry uh, it's still selected mm, click uh, on nothing just click on file and as you can see there's still the values over, over here okay 
So you just have to uh, select a file and save uh, assembly preset and select uh, LXP on, on to, into your uh, the folder of the kit. Okay, so SMO uh, underscore assembly aliases in my kit. Okay, so just select the name and click save and that's all. So I hope this tutorial was interesting. Uh, I will do more uh, tutorials on Substance Designer, Model and Unity, I hope. If you have uh, any questions, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, I also have a Gumroad page and you can find me also on my blog. So see you. Yum, yum.